Hey everyone, it's Lauren from Laura's Leaves and today I'm going to take you around my house and give you guys a plant tour. So winter plant tour, Christmas plant tour, whatever you want to call it, but stick around so I can show you all my plants. All right everyone, so this is my den and this is one of the rooms in the house that I do have a lot of plants, but it's also probably one of the darkest rooms in my house for some reason. And I think it's because we only have this window and then no windows on either side. So let's get started. I'm gonna start on the shelf hanging up above our couch. This is my first pothos that I ever grew in. My first pothos that I've grown. And um, I got it all from cuttings from from work don't tell anyone <laughs> and this summer i put it outside and it took off and now it's growing really well i've had it for about two years but it was was not doing very well and i put it outside last summer and whatever happened out there it liked it and then the only other plant i have up here is my spider plant this one has been beat up a little bit my cats have chewed it down to about right there at least two or three times and it's grown back every time and this was planted three and a half years ago on the day my daughter was born by my awesome aunt so this plant is very special to me so hopefully <laughs> it grows a little better it was looking really nice at one time and then I repotted it and it went <clears throat> so hopefully it perks back up in front of my north facing window i might have to get on my couch for this <sighs> okay this could get rough i have my hoya weedii i like this guy he puts off great vibes and he grows well don't ya then up here ooh is my Cebu Blue. Looking fabulous. Doing his thing. One of my favorite plants. Next is my Purple Passion Vine. And it is so soft and putting off total goth vibes. So pretty. There might be cat hair in it. I swear my cats. There's cat hair everywhere. Oh, look at that. I love the velvet. Underrated plant. Over here is another Hoya Hindu Roll, Hoya Compacta. This one I've had for about three months. And I swear it's grown that much for me. That one trail, anyhow. I feel like the longer, the bigger they get, the faster they grow. And I have not watered this, I believe, maybe once since I've gotten it because it was so drenched when I bought it. And then last, over hanging on the curtain rod, is my... Hoya Carnosa Crimson Princess, I believe. I might correct me if I'm wrong. That's some dead stuff, but it's growing so well. Trailing up, trailing down. I really love this plant. And then down here on the sill, I forget what this is called. There's a tag on it, but I don't, I don't want to get down. <laughs> it might fall. Okay, I'm going to do it. Sorry for the shakiness, people. I got this at the plant swap. Fawthia retusa. So translucent and pretty. And then an aloe of Warthia, I'm not sure. And some other succulents that are dying. But this is growing. Stretching for the light. And then some type of cacti. His name's Chucky. He reminds me of Chucky from the Rugrats. 
If anyone knows who's what this guy's ID is, let me know. This cat likes to lay in this little baby crib. That's for my daughter's dolls. Right, Houdini? Is that your cat bed? Kitty, kitty. Is that your kitty bed? Here's on my mantle. It's where I keep a lot of my plants. Here is the wonderful, ever so gorgeous Scandaptus Pictus. I think though, I might be lucky and have a silvery and. If anyone thinks it might be, let me know. Kiefer's back in the house and he's whining again. He wants attention. But these leaves are so interesting. Their texture's interesting, the shine's beautiful. I love this. I want to find one of the bigger leaf, the exoticas. Let's see. Then there is my ZZ plant. This is a great plant to get for as a gift for people who might not know how to take care of plants or want something low maintenance. I think everyone should have a ZZ plant. And I think there's something new in there. Right back there. This here is my philodendron burl marks, burly marks, however you want to call it. I love him. He's doing really well, pushing out some new growth. Very tall. I like philodendrons. Then we have a philodendron pedatum. He too is pushing out some uh, new growth for me up there. And anything else? Maybe not. I have him tied up with some twine on a bamboo stick. I have my parlor palm. I will survive. My Peppy Le Pew ornament that's broke. And then Philodendron Xanadu. Let's move down here. Here I have a grow light. Gr See, I can't talk. A grow light since my Christmas tree is blocking the light from the window. Some cuttings of my variegated Hindu rope. A bromeliad. If anyone has any tips or tricks for growing bromeliads, let me know. I just moved it here for the videos in my bathroom all by its lonesome and I don't want to show you my bathroom so or my one bathroom and my cat was chewing on it when I had it on my kitchen table so I had to move it a white butterfly syngonium and behind my Christmas stocking is my philodendron Brazil in all her glory on her cute little stand on the other side of the fireplace I have my first Monstera Addisonii. This is the narrow leaf version. And I've had a little bit of trouble growing this girl, but she's still gorgeous and tall. And then my Aglonema Silver Bay and my Keeper. Where should we show them next, huh? What should we show them next? What do you want to show next, Kiefer? Can you sit? Can you shake? Shake. Good boy. Good boy. <laughs> okay, now we're in like, sorry if it's echoing. I'm in my dining room, kitchen slash kitchen. Here's a bit of an overview. Let's start over here with my peace lolly. I got this at Home Depot, I believe. It did have blooms on it and it has bloomed for me maybe three times since I got it, but it hasn't bloomed since the rest of those blooms have died off. So I'm not sure if peace lilies bloom all year round or only in the spring and summer. If someone knows, let me know in the comments, please. That would be 
awesome. Up here is my first red Maranta. And I have really good luck with these in my home. I have great luck propagating them and they grow well. And my home isn't that humid. Hi, Houdini. And then up here is an agave plant. I think it's called the spaghetti agave or spaghetti noodle something. Something weird and funky like that. Can't quite remember. Over here, we have a cat on the table. He too will probably follow me around the whole entire house. Get down. All right, so on this table, we have a whole bunch of holiday, type of holiday cactus. In this box here, I have these, I bought these for a friend. Um, these three are all regular uh, Christmas cacti. That one right there is a Thanksgiving cactus and its blooms are about to be done. And then those two are both Christmas cacti as well. There's Santa, my little, I call that my Charlie Brown tree. Over here, I have a regular Hoya Carnosa Green. I think I got this last summer from Hertz. And it was about that big, and now it's grown to be about that big. Faring pretty well. This is my rubber tree, my Taniki. I love the variegation on this plant. I just love the like sage green. It's truly. I love, that's one of my favorite colors. Green is my favorite color. Oh, a Kiefer. Kiefer's looking out at the squirrels. Do you wanna get the squirrels? Do you wanna go get the squirrels? Go go side. Do you go go side? Oh no, I got him excited. All right, just a second. I have my um, Marble Queen Pothos up top on your right. This one is one of my favorite pothos. It grows so beautifully. I have some propagating right now. And then my first Hoya Hindu rope. This was the first one I've um, bought. And I don't know what it is, but this grows so well for me. I used to have it in that other window where the variegated one is, but I moved it to put the Christmas tree in. And it's just so full. And it's grown a lot since I've had it. I've had it about, come on. There we go. Um, a little over a year, but it's grown tremendously. So I let Kiefer out, so it might be a little, you might be able to hear me better now. <laughs> over here I have um, a propagation, some propagations from a Ciba Blue Pathos that I rooted and then put in soil. There's little babies growing inside. I wonder if I can get down in there. My spider plant from my aunt. Shout out to Aunt Charlene. And then a Scandaptus pix pictus. Pixus. Scandaptus pixus. <laughs> pictus, people. I can't say it. So I'm thinking we might have to split this into two parts. Now we're in my bathroom. <laughs> I only have a few plants here in my bathroom, one being um, a golden pothos. This one too was all started from my mother, from cuttings from one of my mother plants. And this bathroom gets barely any light except for this really bright artificial LED light. And this thing grows like a gem in here. I don't know if it's the light mixed with the humidity from the shower, but it loves it. And then over, on this little shelf above my toilet, <laughs> um, I have my Bonnie spider plant who's pushing out babies everywhere. Some there, some down there. And then I have my rattlesnake Calathea. This one has given me some trouble, but all the new growth is coming in while I'm waiting for it to turn. I love the dark colors on the back of the leaves, but I'm waiting for it to turn. And then maybe I'll get rid of the crispy foliage in due time when I'm ready. I don't want to cut it. And then a little sad Hulworthia I tried saving from Lowe's, I think. Got it for three bucks. So guys, that's it for my plant tour. If you like this video, 
please don't forget to hit subscribe down below, hit that like button. And if you're interested, go follow me over on Instagram at lores underscore leaves. And I will see you guys in the next video. Bye-bye.